Why am I not getting hired? Man, I don't know. What is the reason behind it? The same thing which happened to you as well. Quite number of times when you are not getting selected into the companies or when you are going to interview process but you are getting rejected. The same thing happened to me as well. I got into multiple job interviews but one also I couldn't make sure I got because see there are a lot of things which you have to remember. So what can be the reason why you are not able to get that job? So you have to understand that's the reason that's the root cause which you have to understand. So let's quickly go into some reasons as not getting a job. Hello, I'm Santosh Nimani, I'm a TEDx speaker and I'm India's first proud introvert's career mentor. The first reason can be lack of preparation. So see how you have prepared for the interview. Preparation means you should be prepared with some amount of questions or you should be prepared, well prepared for the, for about the company, about the job role, about the specifications of your experience there are a lot of things which you have to actually have in your hand so it can be a written format or it can be a soft copy whatever so if you want to know about more i will be definitely putting a playlist here where you will be knowing about a lot of questions where what kind of questions they will ask and how to prepare for them there are a lot of videos which i made so you can be you can watch them and you can see the playlist and you can get the answers or templates for that so do your preparation before going for an interview, it can be about the company, it can be about the job role and it can be the way which, what is your experience and the, and how it you fit in all there. So this makes a lot of difference. The second reason can be poor communication skills. So a lot of companies actually look for people who can effectively communicate. That doesn't mean English. That doesn't mean the language which they want. It's not like that. The way it, they want is, they want you to effectively communicate the message which you want to convey to them so that's the most important aspect or the story which you want to tell that's that's the most important aspect so it's not about how good you are you are grammatically sounding and all that doesn't make sense i know that it also matters but yeah the point is it's not only that i'm telling you that it's not only that aspect of grammatical things and all it's about how you are able to communicate how you are able to convey the message what you want to tell them so how you can work upon it is again practice make the templates answer if you have the questions ready i think there are a lot of questions which people might ask the common questions which you know so you can write it down be prepared for that question so this actually makes a lot of difference when you go to an interview well prepared and if you have the answers already in your mind you can quickly answer them with the same template which you have for more information again i'm giving the playlist here if you want to check that there are some templates where you can use the templates and you can remember the answers so there is no actually juggling of again uh, getting the words from here and there you just has to take the template and remember the template and use it over there so that's that easy it is so in that way if you if you know how to communicate how to convey that message what you want that makes a lot of difference the third reason why you are not getting hired can be lack of enthusiasm so employees or the people, especially when you are going to an interview, people see how you how passionate you are about the job. So it's not about how technically you are sound to that job, but how enthusiasm, what kind of enthusiasm you have towards the job or the company or how energetic you are. It's not like if they are, you have to be a loudspeaker and speaking continuously, it's not like that. I'm just telling when they're asking a question, if how is your body posture, whether you're coming forward or you're just leaning this way or you're just sleeping in this way. So there are some body postures which actually tell you how, what kind of personality you are, whether you are interested or whether you are just sitting there listening or just following. So you have to have that enthusiasm or the passion towards the job or the company or the job role. So this makes a lot of difference. So lack of enthusiasm can be also a, a particular thing. You have to actually work upon things like you have to go and apply to jobs which are which are actually linked to your particular experience and you have to understand why you are going to that job and you have to make some research about the company which excites you as well over there it, should, it will not be looking fake. So remember lacking enthusiasm can be a, a big reason for you not getting hired. The next reason can be a negative attitude. So a lot of employers again will see how what kind of personality you are. So negative attitude can be like whether you are bad mouthing your company or your colleagues or you are talking something bad about the 
uh, job role which you had in the past or the previous company so this actually gives a negative vibe about your character so be careful while you're talking about this sensitive issues before an interview because it's not like if you if you if you are actually praising the company which you're going to or the company are going to the com- or praising the uh, employees or the one actually who is interviewing and uh, giving some bad words to the old company and all this actually reflects on your character so this also gives a gives you a negative impact while they are hiring you so always remember don't actually have these things in your mind so again i'm telling you there is a subtle way to answer this i i have made some videos to how to answer them and all the videos links will be here the playlist will be here you can check that out and you can see how you can answer that kind of questions and how you can subtly tell talk about your old organization or your old job the last reason can be inability to answer questions so again it's all about the preparation so the ants you the questions have been given but still you are not able to answer it can be the technical it can be non technical whatever so if you are not able to answer maybe you are tensed maybe you are not not okay with the questions so make sure you are well prepared you are well prepared before going to an interview before entering into that room of interview make sure you if anything comes up if if something is going wrong you have to understand this is a process this fine if it's fine to not to answer some questions but if you are able to answer at least 50 to 60% of the questions you, there is a chance that you may get hired for example fifth question they asked me some xyz but i couldn't answer that so immediately get back there is one more opportunity you can answer the next question there is opportunity if you are getting blank at that moment there are chances you may get rejected so so come back as quick as possible and as quick as possible you are replying or responding to the next questions that makes a lot of difference So I believe you loved this video because it gives a lot of insights and why you are not getting hired. There are multiple reasons for it. Choose what is the reason and put in the comment box. If you loved this particular reasons, maybe one or two reasons are for you also in your life also. In for my life, I have seen multiple couple of reasons in my starting days of my career, but I rectified them and I came to a stage where I now I am able to understand what went wrong in that in my interview as well. So thank you so much if you love this video do share it to someone so that you can also impact their lives and subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more videos related to introversion motivation career development and job interview tips thank you we'll meet you in the next video